talking about it, but probably you didn't get it. But now you could get it a little better. And I was telling him my Mar Four Lower story. I don't remember him in Mar Four Lower. I had Mar Four Lower smashed, nigga. I had the phones in Mar Four Lower. Facts. But I didn't know him in Mar Four Lower. Facts. I, I don't remember him for being in Mar Four Lower. So I don't know how he was there, cause I was definitely there. I don't know. Yeah, right. Uh, but he could have been there a different year. But wow, what a coincidence! He's telling Mar Four Lower story. Look how he's looking at me. He was starstruck, nigga. Wow, I'm talking to daddy. Um, the Chinese was down there too, right? Of course the Chinese were down there because you already had heard my story. You was a But I thought he was in Mar Four Lower. Why years ago? Why he's asking me? The Chinese were down there, right? Too, right? Be, uh, weren't you there? You should know they was there, right? Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me, son? You should know the Chinese were there. You fucking embutero. You an embutero, my nigga. You can never compete with daddy. I made these dudes remove them dirty hats from the back of their walls. I started saying, dirty hat wearing motherfuckers. Look at me with the shades. Who's trying to be like who? Boy wasn't making content. So I told him, jump on YouTube. I got you. I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you how to blow overnight. Overnight, I got him thousands of views and thousands of subscribers and supporters he never had in his life i dug him out from the dirt it's self-explanatory but i'll take you back into it real quick for those that care all right of course the chinese were down there because you already had heard my story you was already a fan this nigga's a dick rider nigga this nigga tries to manipulate boy a jacker for sure super jacker the Chinese were down there. Of course you knew the Chinese were down there. I already had put the story out years prior to this. And this was about two or three years ago. And two or three years or more before that, I already had the story all over the internet about the Chinese. And he was a fan all along. Which there's nothing wrong with being a fan. Let's get it straight. Thanks a lot for hitting that like button. I love you and I see you hitting it individually. I have special forces. I have this thing that lets me know who hits it and who don't. So if you hit it, I see you and I love you. But this is what I'm saying. Boy, look at the way he's looking at me. He's just studying my whole thing, bro. My whole thing he's studying, bro. They didn't even know what StreamYard was. This is years ago. I'm using StreamYard. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to give it to him, though, because I'm still not a hater. When I started using StreamYard, when the guy first started using StreamYard, I'm not sure. I think he hit Mac too. But we was one of the first ones that he started hitting. Like, yo, work with us. We would have been rich by now. But dick riders like this nigga want to fuck shit up. You get it? Because I got offered so many things. But I'm here on the back scene trying to bring these clowns with me. And they over here lying to people. <laughs> Just because I don't talk to you don't mean that I'm still not trying to do nothing for the people that made something pop. Like, he's a weirdo, bro. He's greedy. He wanted it for himself. Like, I did this. I did. Instead of saying the facts. And one person got to blow and bring y'all with him. You can't blow because the story's not yours. You will forever be known as a dude that on the lockout blew up. And then whatever else you did, you did it off of taking other people's content. When you had a good story, nigga, you had an ill story. I met the dude from on the lockout. He was locked up with Dizzy, bar, whatever bullshit story you gave me that you knew Dizzy from 183 ah, and all that. And from there, I taught you everything. It blew. We did tech. We did whatever. And now we helping people grow on the internet. Now I got that story dolo. Because I was involving him. He even told me, you could use me as receipts. Because you helped me blow. I got all that audio and video. But you could hear it. It's in here. I told him, I don't need you as receipts that I know tech. Because I'm certified by the YouTube Academy for those that don't know. Right? This has been like that for years. Like, I am I went to school on showing people how to grow on these platforms. We're certified. Right. So he takes away from the story the minute he starts lying and says, bro, I did this on my own. Didn't nobody help me. <laughs> my nigga, you're dumb. If the right individual goes back and looks at your videos and then looks at my beginning videos on this channel, because I've been on YouTube and all these platforms before this. The only thing he could say is that he's been on the platform before that. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. You wasn't doing nothing on the platform. Your videos weren't standstill.
until I came through and gave you the recipe that's go and blew you up, nigga. Them shits were froze. Facts. Until he told Rikers Island stories that I convinced him to tell. And then I told him about the after prison show and all that. He didn't know about them people. See the trolling game and the and the making content about other people. I taught him that. He even says it. Yo, I learned from the best. The only thing he went a little too hard with the trolling. And I don't do people dirty like that unless they do something to me, right? So I never respected what he was doing. He turned into a hopper. He's in everybody's platform, bro. And the co- bro, he even wind up in Sunny uh, Blanco. The dude that was like. <laughs> Yo, this dude, I went over there, B, and he dissed me. He was another cloud chaser. He knew I was going to say something to him and wanted me to say something to him. And then they think I don't look. So even the other clown that got beef with him, right, went over there and commented like, yo, good shit. That's why I got mad at him. And he was good money with me. I never did nothing to you. So now I know why they got beef with each other. They all alike, bro, which was uh, 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 the king of receipts. I see him. In the dude's comment section saying, yo, good work about me, him, homie. He just made a video about a dude you be talking to, you be talking to me about Mac Mean 24 hours a day, son. And you in another nigga's comment section saying, good shit, bro. Good shit. And you asking me to defend you against Mac Mean? Nigga, y'all dudes are fucking weird. The wonder y'all got beef. Y'all belong together, y'all dirty motherfuckers. Facts. But y'all niggas ain't got nothing on me, bro. If it was a competition, y'all lost a long time ago, bro. You need to keep working. You can't diss the nigga who made you. These are just facts. I made you, nigga. When you trying to diss me, other than that, it was ill. It was a good story. But when you lie, I got to destroy with truth. Let's go. They was, that's how I met him from being a fan calling me. It's in my house, bro. That's what I, they was in my house. Look, but then he. T- this is an old video before boy even started blowing like that. Before I blew him from here to another world. Took the story and says that he knows them, nigga. How you know them? That's my story. You saying, nigga? I'm s- pussy. Sitting that he was in Mall for Lower. Let's see if he does. I wasn't even in the house five minutes. I had the sneakers. I had the sneakers, the jack, everything. If you was in Mall for Lower, I would have known you because the phones were mine. These are just facts. I had one of the phones. How come I didn't know you? You had to be quiet. Something, a story, real quick. But, so I, Mar- but, but, but let's get to it. He don't even know Boo, or he think he says he knows Boo Black. Boo Black, but Boo Black, Boo Black and them Asian, Boo Black is a good dude. The only... Anyway, Boo Black and them was from Purple City. I've been editing videos. They all copy not, my whole flow. Yeah, Purple go, Uptowns. Go, and go back to their first videos and you'll see. But let me show you something else, bro. Since we getting to the, to the bacon. Let me show you. I got a lot of videos, so bear with me. I'm going to take you down memory lane real quick. Let's go to the beginning. Check this out, bro. For the dudes that are not too bright. For the dudes that are not too bright, bro. There's not one person that didn't come on my platform and left with thousands of subscribers. Because every video I made with somebody else, I made sure that I worked on filling out the paperwork the right way and all that. I knew the video was going to blow. Thanks a lot for the super chat. Uh, Forever. You already know. Grateful. For the gifted subs. Bro, when somebody plays me or tries to play me, I don't forgive, bro. That's one thing I don't do. And then when we got into a little beef, boy called me apologizing. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. If I did anything wrong, I apologize. When I when he had spoke, uh, Gemstone had called him or called somebody. But me and Gemstone spoke, but he didn't call me on no rara. I said, Gemstone actually got a better head on his shoulders than this clown. I don't even know why Gem fuck with this nigga. Like, really, bro? Like, at all, period. Like, why you even fuck with this bum nigga? This nigga's a bum and a liar, bro. It makes you look bad. You never gonna go nowhere with this dude in rap or nothing. He's about himself, bro. So, I'm gonna show you the stories, but first, let me take you to the bottom. 
So, right? These were the beginning videos, right? And look. He was on my channel before this, I think. But let's let's just look at this. Right? So this says April 11, 2020, right? April 12, 2020, 20,000 views, right? He's on my channel. He, I, look, remember, April. April, right? 2020. Because I like to talk with facts. Out here looking. April 2020, right? This is going to be quick because these niggas got videos from other people. Their videos ain't even long. Remember how he used to diss King of Receipts? Oh, them live streams are too long, this and that. He does the same thing now. Three hour live streams because he stepped up his system a little bit, I guess. Or his internet connection with hearing us talk. Because before he used to try to diss them. Yo, they do four hour lives, three hour lives. He sounds like Hassan. Then he started doing the same thing. You're doing three hour lives now when you watch us. You watch us and you learn. Here we go. Remember, April 2020. Ten years ago, this dude made one rap song, my nigga, that was washed up. Are you sick of having issues? Right? He just got it monetized. The shit only has 2,500 views, my nigga. It goes to show people don't care about you. Those are not actual views that people get. What they are is that your video is reaching 12,000, 20, 30,000 people. Bro, when he's live and there's 4,000 people, 2,000, there's only eight people in the chat, bro, constantly commenting the same person. Hello, bro. I know YouTube. Don't be fooled. That shit has 2,000 views, and it's from 10 years ago, bro. I would have hung up. Now, anyway, check this out. His first story is a Rikers Island story. He didn't want to tell Rikers Island story, right? Remember April 2020? Yeah, story. This is in May when he was talking to me, and I was talking him into it. So a month later... He got into it, and everything he did on his channel after that was Rikers Island stories. Even the about section of these niggas still say Rikers Island stories. If you diss Rikers Island stories so much, get it off your shit. You don't need it, right? Nah, you need it, bro, because you consider yourself that, but you went against Poppy. Reason all that, but I'm hearing mad stuff about HDM. And I look, look. I was going to stay away from the, the, you know, the jail stories. I was going to stay away from the jail stories. The only, right then and there in his mind, you know what he's thinking. But my nigga Warpath convinced me, let's do this. You, bro, you got to do it. You got to get money. You're a bum right now. You got to get it. You got to support your kids. He didn't know what to do. I'm having a baby. I feel like robbing people. Boy was crying, and I helped him. Facts. Boy was crying like a bitch that he is. I don't know if he was Muslim or not. Nigga, you was Muslim. Shut the fuck up. You was quiet up north, nigga. Like a Muslim do up north. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Then he started putting true stories on his thumbnails. And he added it to the title of his name. Because in every video, I used to put on the lockout true stories. If you go look at my titles, I would put Rikers Island stories, whatever I had to say. And then true story at the end and on the thumbnail. That's why if you look next to this video, the recommendation next to it is what? Rikers Island court bus, what goes on? True story. So he thought he was slick and they tie in their videos with me. You get it? But he don't know that that's a sanction in YouTube if they catch you doing that. Like doing things on purposely to you to fall in the same realm as the next man. All my shit say true story. Right here, this says true story at the end. Right? Right here. Again, Rikers Island, boo, then it says true story. Right here it says true story. You're looking at it at the side? All these shits say true story. Right here it says true story. All these Rikers Island videos of mine say true story that were out before these boys even thought about doing. So he made his channel name. He named his kid after me. Mac mean true story. They took bits and pieces from my show, bro, these dudes, all these dudes. Look, 
10 years prison sentence. Nobody even knows this dude that was locked up with him. Only people that lie. So look, he did that. Then I talked about the Dominicans. And then he talked about the Dominicans in New York. When I made the video about Dominicans, they were using Rikers Island. Now let's get to this. Because this is where the money's at. This is when I called them this day. I called them again because his shit started getting dead. And I was like, yo, something got to change. You got to do what I'm doing right now. Pop this. I have a challenge for... Let's give him that little ad. So check it. He says, I got the call. That was the call from me. Who else? Then he was wearing hats like daddy. Who was wearing them Chicago Bull hats every day? I don't lie, bro. I speak facts. I don't lie. These niggas are trying to lie on a nigga. You can't lie on facts, bro. And then he's like, I'm out here doing God's work. How, bro? You're lying, nigga. When you already said something, you look crazy. Look, on my nuts again. Look, wearing hats like me, all that. All right, I just got the call. I know I'm late, man. You could tell he's even lying. Now, I'm going to keep it a stack with you. In this video, homie... I never lie to you. I swear to my son to get hit by a bus right now. Boy didn't know nothing about the after prison show. He didn't know nothing about uh, Joe. He didn't know nothing about Danny. Nothing. I strategically told them, you have to talk about this. Make the ill thumbnail. I'm going to show you how to do it. I showed him how to do it. He still got it wrong. He put it in a small format. Then he changed it. He was weird with it, right? But he was trying. I give it to him, right? Boom. But he didn't know them. He didn't know the story. He didn't know nothing. I sent him a video, shared the video with him, and told him, you got to watch this video and tell the story and own it like a podcaster, like a content creator. Make yourself a part of the story like you've been watching it for years and talk to the people, not at them. The rest was history. Because I knew what I was doing. So did he lie? Yes, he lied. Did I tell him to lie? I told him it's up to you. If you want to do something to grow overnight and your only intent is to grow an audience to boost your music and your mass sales and into the money part, this is your only option. Because they not filling your jail stories too much. You got to get into this part of it. And you got to grab some white people. And this is what happened. But here you go. Danny from the After Prison Show, man. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's he don't even know what to do. You see that? He's back. He's back. He's thinking. He's thinking, what the fuck did I just see in that video? This was early in the morning, bro. I'll never forget. He's back. He's back. He's thinking, what the fuck am I going to talk about? He's back. I don't know if he's on crack. Nah. <laughs> hey, Danny. This looks like a person that knew the story real good. But here we go. I told him, talk to the individuals. And he did exactly that. Hey, Danny. If you ever see this video, man, I'm sorry, man. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it 100, man. Cause I'm sorry, I'm just in it for the clout. Sometimes honesty is the best medicine. It's but boy was lying, and honesty's the best medicine. You was lying, bro. You didn't know them at all. Period. That was me. They knew everything. Especially for somebody that don't know you from a hole in the wall, right? Now, for people that's unfamiliar with Danny, uh, Danny story starts for me right when the guy named joe joe runs a show called after prison show right he did a pretty good job though because from that day before that he didn't know shit about the after prison show so he's telling you the basics who owns the channel he just came from what it's about and who are we talking about here you know formulating <laughs> his plot mm. and basically you know, he talks about prison things. He tries to help people and stuff like that. Real positive dude from what I can tell by looking at the show. So anyway, after that, right? It blew 50,000 views. 
It's over from there. It got 50,000 views, 715 comments, 2,000 plus likes, right? Let's get to this, though. Let's get to the real money. Because we don't like to lie. Top comments. So check this. Nobody has commented on that video. Top comment since two years ago, my dude. That shit is dug in the dirt because he never spoke about it again. But if you go to the side, recommend the videos, who you see over here. He was following me, so I shared my audience with this pig. After prison show, Danny has something to say again on the lockout. I was the one doing all this. I was the one doing all this, right? So now let's get to the bread because his first after prison story when it, his channel really took off, right, was in June, June 19, 2020, right? I was already teaching him everything, how to put the YouTube thing, your cash apps. I taught him everything, how to fill out the paperwork, the tags, not tags, how many you could use. Now he's using 100 tags. Because he thinks that's the right way to make videos because <laughs> he's getting a little views and he thinks adding 300 tags is what grows your channel. It does. <laughs> but temporarily, that's another story. I'm not here to help him no more. So June 19, right? Pop. Check it. With the after prison show, right? June 19, June 19, I get 50,000 views on June 19, the same day he did in 2020. June 19, the same day as him, I get 50,000 views, right? Guess why I got 50 and he got the views that he got which was 50,000 views, right? I was sharing my audience with him. Here we go. Mastermind. What's going on, my people? You already know what this is. It's on the lockout today. We're going to get right into it. Danny, the after prison show. He's back. Danny's back. He copied everything I said. I said the after prison show. Danny's back. Danny's back. Why you heard him say in this video? I'll rewind it for you in case you missed something. He's back. He's back. I don't know if he's on crack. Nah. Let's rewind that. Mind you, I dropped my video first because I told him I'm going to drop mine at 7 in the morning. Immediately after I drop my video, you have to drop yours because I'm going to make mine pop and tie yours to mine on my end. I know how to do that. He does too now. He can make anybody pop. I ain't going to lie. I taught him a lot, bro. But keep it a stack, bro. Don't lie. He knows a lot. I'm not going to take that away from him. Because I taught him. <laughs> so here we go. Who's saying that? Look what he's saying. Look, listen to what he's saying, bro. He's back. He's back. I don't know if he's on crack. Nah. <laughs> now listen to this. It can't get no more remix than this. And he's getting at Joe. We're going to get right into it. Check it. Danny, the after prison show. He's back. He's back. Danny's back. And he's getting at Joe. He takes it and he, I said, Danny's back. He's back. Danny's back. I taught him in the first 30 seconds. And I'm going to give all of y'all a tip. In the first 30 seconds of your video, whatever you're talking about, you have to say it loudly. Like if you're talking about prison, that's why I come on and I go today. Prison, jail, gangs, Rikers Island. Fuck what anybody thinks about you. I let it be known what this video is about. 
And once I taught him that, he freaked it and just said everything I said. And from that day on, I said, he's copying too hard. It's becoming spooky, though, homie. You didn't have to do it exactly like me. The only thing he changed is, I don't know if he's smoking crack. He's right. But he's like, he, Danny's back. He's back. Danny's back. You don't see that? That's Poppy and son. Let's get it. I was always editing like crazy. I just chilled with the editing. We getting back into all that. Because guess who's back? I never went nowhere. Lockout gang. I you love know, you. You soft, Joe. You're not built like that. You want to know something? I think Joe will give you a run for, for that money, bro. Joe will put the blows on you. Facts. That's just my opinion. Leave in the comments how you feel about that. Don't... I, it's been love all people from years ago. And I always put we family around here. Read their comment section. I, You know why people think his son is sweet? Because he's a dude that's white. Where did you get this from? That because you're white, you can't fight. And we never promoted violence. He is never that. But I, I, I get like some of my good friends that was locked up with me on Rikers Island, upstate penitentiary, everywhere. A lot of them, I stayed with a white dude by me because I just felt that he happened to be a good dude. I, the same way I stood with a black brother beside me at times. It didn't matter, but a lot of dudes, I Thanks a lot for the super chat, Danny. On the lockout. Cool. Danny makes a video. So, so now that we know that, right? That we got that out the way. You see the thumbnails? The red with yellow and all that? I taught him how to use the same thumbnail processor. And that's how he learned that, right? So he talked about it so hard. Make this I the told him how long to make the video. He did that, right? But let's get into it. It went all the way to the bottom. It don't want me to show you. Uh, so then after that, he started talking about Banky. He started talking about the whole after prison show thing, right? It goes on, right? He was never, they was never talking about Hassan Campbell. Nobody, bro. Understand what's happened here. They wasn't talking about none of this, boy. I promise you. After after prison show, I did all that, right? I was doing music on my channel with my own music. They started doing that after. Everybody wanted to do the same thing, right? It's cool. This was the video where he came on and he was... Uh, 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 uh. Was this it? Yeah, there's a few videos. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Well, let's see this one. This is one of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. So hold on, because I put him on a lot of my videos. I was really, I was really advertising him. You know, Mac Mean, Warpath, we on the lockout. So today we're going to talk about this uh, Rikers Island, Island Guards. <laughs> this is a setup. This is a setup. <laughs> so, yo, this dude, patient of his neck, K, right? he was up a, like, let me see. Do this is the dude that's bringing a package smokes mad weed. Right? So nobody knew him, and what people liked was when I bring him on, the way I made him look like a charismatic. He's getting he's mad cool, and they'll pull up on the crib and be. So people was feeling him based on me. I made the audience. He thought he had the wet. Yeah, I made the audience feel him. You get it? And I taught him how to podcast and how to talk to people and believe in himself. And I motivated him. Right. right. And I motivated him all the way to the last text that he said that I should have texted him when I said that Jay Prince or somebody hit me. Even then, I told him, "Yo, good job." But when he put salute. And didn't say nothing else. I said, this nigga's a coward. And he's doing exactly what I thought he was doing. And I got those texts. And then he hit me and he said, oh, I, I, uh, I didn't know this was you. I just saw this or something like that. They still there. Lately, with my content and all that, like, you know, I, I said, hold up, man. Now I'm trying to play like, you know what? Like, I got to make a video like, yo, nah, man, it's becoming work. When it becomes work, it doesn't work no no more. And so now in every one of his videos, you hear him say exactly that. 
When it becomes work, it doesn't work anymore. They got that from me. I was saying that over 13 years ago. If you go watch my videos, bro, when it becomes work, it doesn't work no more. You hear him saying that or he says everything I say because he came from Poppy. Remember that. And I said, I always used to tell people you got to have fun with it in order to like right. when, when, when it becomes work, it doesn't work. Yeah. You see, he locked it down in his brain. You get it? He said, make the shirt. When it becomes work, it doesn't work. He locked that in his brain, bro. And he ran with it where to today, he be saying the same shit. <laughs> you get it? Shout out to the real gang chat, bro. I love y'all. Thanks a lot for hitting that like button, bro. Tamo en el building. Rompiendo la nana gibri hasta trepa pibri. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 or, or I, I, in case anybody tries to take our ideas, we I already send that immediately. So is is uh, how you call? He's laughing like, well, yeah, I'm trying to take that. that. Lawyers is on it. So what happens is this: that I was always, I always will comment or make a post or a picture. You know how I do it, like cartoonish or whatever. It looks bugged out. Dudes are like, whoa, that looks hot. You know how I do it, cartoonish. Dudes be like, whoa, that looks hot. He didn't know nothing about that. So I'll put like we working over here, right? Oh. But then I noticed that while I'm working, you know, it he froze because his internet service was babied or to I showed him fix that. <laughs> this is you, man. The best, the best content that I made, the best content that I made, um, came from actually the best content that I made came from actually me having fun. Everything else is going to come after that. Facts. What's up, bro? You, you there? You bow? They didn't know about the colors. None of that. I made them get the Fruity Pebble colors out there. People want to see colors. 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 What's happening? <laughs> so that's when my best content came in. When I was having fun, that's when it happened. Mac. That's a twenty dollar microphone nowadays. I paid three hundred for all three of them. The microphone is at twenty dollars today. I paid actually nine a hundred and nine. My bad. That was with the mixer and everything. It was like four hundred. That mic you could get it right now for twenty dollars. I still got three of them. That mic still sounds superb. Mac seems like he's a little stuck. He's like, so sometimes that happens, people. So bear with us. We going I try to protect his his internet. He was stealing from McDonald's. I didn't want to make him look stupid, but then he went left, and I had to teach him. This is him again. This is him again. So I blew you from here to next week because I was posting you. You wasn't helping me because nobody knew you. I already was all over the internet for years with thousands of supporters, millions of views worldwide with all my platforms. I didn't need you. Nobody knew you. The only Mac we knew was China Mac and OG Mac, nigga. Facts. Anybody after that was a carving copy, bro. Good troublemaker, bro. You could tell. Ooh. And Boo Black looked at me and I was like, yo, let me holler. We spoke on why we So you saw that already. Living. Let's get yo, to this. Let's get to this. Cause boy, there's more. There's a lot more when this when this little young fella uh came across me. I blew him and in every video I told him, shout out your channel. Poppy's gonna help you. But kiss the tip of my dick. Oh yeah. And he did it every time. Pussy. Boop. It's like they wasn't editing like that. I was doing that in the beginning years ago. Look, look at the skills. Look at the skills for a jail nigga. Look, look. Boop. It's like a, a person. I should say boop. <laughs> doing a, a song that's following a trend for now you know what i mean that might work for you right now but the long-term respect and the long-term you know what i mean change is going to happen with the you know what i mean the person who's giving the, the the most sincere message you know what i mean we can talk shit you know what i mean bro i've been the master at this bro everything they doing i did this is Streamyard. years ago 
I'm telling you that boy was the first one that we seen on the internet on this side using StreamYard with me. The dude was trying to holler at me and all that. The owner. We would have been rich. But these niggas decided to start hating. And I saw that. And when I saw that, I got scared. Not scared like scared of them, but to a point like, damn, the team I got is no good, bro. Fuck, I should have known better than fucking with this treppy, nigga. Facts. Of course. <laughs> it looked like some fucking, it looked like some, some, some fly pimp shit. With the, yeah. I mean, the, the curtains and all that. Because he's real manipulative. He sucked the dick of mad Spanish niggas and Latin King niggas. He was trying to be all in their platforms. He was talking good about them. He was like, for some reason, I like Solo. When I was telling them, don't fuck with Solo. Solo's no good. For some reason, I love Latin Pain. When I was telling him, Latin Pain is I, right, bro, but he's into some shirt, church shit, whatever, and I was mad at whatever I was mad about, and I wanted to fuck up Pain or whatever I was mad about, he was like, dick riding them and I was like why are you dick riding them so hard but now it all came to me he was jumping from sub to sub he wanted to talk to Solo because he figured whatever little views Solo was getting or whatever supporters he had right because we understand subscriber count we know that people got a half a million subs and that that's not real it don't exist YouTube leaves it there and every so often they come through and do a drive-by and your subscriber count will go down and you'll be like how the fuck I just got 500 subs I had 10,000. They took them off because those are dead weight. Those are people that are there that didn't even know they were subbed. People die. People lose their phone. So if you're not an active subscriber, they take you out after a while, right? But from a look, from a person that don't know, it's deceiving because it'll show, damn, he got 30,000 subs. So that's all he saw. He saw numbers. And being that he was a failed rapper, he wanted to put his music out there, but I still was trying to help him. Until he seen the beef, the uh, the Bloods talking about the Latin King story and all that happening, he dick wrote us because the Bloods didn't want to fuck with him because they knew he was lying. Facts, right? So I still felt bad for him. When he found two or three Bloods, when them other Bloods disappeared from the internet, he found fake internet Bloods that don't report at all, period. Right? Because they wouldn't be telling blood stories if they report it. Because that'll be their last meeting. Facts. So, he dick rolled them. So he can now get their viewership. And that's why he does. He goes from channel to channel. And he dick rides the content creator. And he's like, you know, and Joe's a good dude. He started talking to Banky from the After Prison Show. A dude that blew up a Moreno. If you go to his channel... He got Banky stories from the after prison show. He dragged that shit. I let it go. I make content on somebody and I let it go. This nigga rides them until the person talks to him and he starts lying so they can hear it, hoping. And he'll be like, man, one day I would like to talk to him because I'm actually trying to help him like he did to Hassan. While Hassan did, he mentioned him. While Hassan did, he went on 050 The Movement. Shout out to them for shouting us out the other day in the comment section. Uh, China Brim. So I respect dudes that respect. You feel me? You got to give respect back when it's given. And he shouted us out the other day in the comment section. I del uh, one of my mods deleted the comment by mistake. <laughs> he didn't know. He's a new mod. Uh, uh, uh. And he deleted the comment. I told him to check something. And he deleted. But it was dumb. I went and checked myself. So shout out to them. And they let him on their platform to talk to Haas. So he got what he wanted. The only thing is that Haas ain't fucking with him. Because Haas knows snakes, bro. Trust me. One thing he know is snakes. And he was just trying to get into that audience. Now he's doing the same thing with other. He did it with everybody until he got on their platform. And whatever content creator is starting, he tries to do the Daddy Yankee move. And I taught him that. But I didn't teach him it in a bad way the way he's doing it. He became a troll. He became a stalker. He became the worst person on the internet, bro. And he's proud of that, this clown. Not knowing that real niggas don't fuck with people like that. Now he tries to take himself out of that when he spoke to China Mac. Like, that's not what I do. People's trolling. He tried to say I was a troll out of all people, nigga. He act like if I was trolling him. Like, yo, this guy won't just leave me alone. Bro, are you bugging? <laughs> I'm your criador. <laughs> like, I'm not even... Like, he acted like if I was bothering him. Nigga, you bothering me. 
You feel me? Like, and that's why he does. And then he goes live to his audience because they gas because this is what he does. They'll do a live stream and he'll let you up on the panel. Yo, what's up, bro? And then you got fucking crackhead ass niggas respectfully to whatever anybody does. Yeah, bro, because I was thinking the same thing. He's a bum, bro. <laughs> yeah, he still got aluminum on his window. Burr niggas. Straight birds, nigga. I'll bend any of y'all niggas. i see you in real time. None of y'all would dare say nothing to me. I'll fold you like a beach chair, nigga. Facts. In real time. And post it for your mother to see it. So she can know this is what your son does on his spare time is be a little dick. So I popped him like a pimple. Para que respete los hombres. Shall we begin? Uh, you know, you keep seeing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Kev is always cool, up top, uh, This nigga was so happy to be around me. His cheeks were blushing. Man, listen, uh, listen on, on, on the island... But you know I me mean? with the headphones. Remember this? Yeah, yeah. To make the tongue go smooth. I gotta cut an onion. I'll cut it. And I've been saying that for years. And anybody, yes, that's right now, everybody, that's right. in jobs. A um, billion people in this world right now going through this should be running to buy computers or start a. This is me. I was teaching people and telling people everybody should start a podcast. The world revolves around technology. They copied my flow and ran with it. Listen. I'm podcasting here, a fake-ass interview with a fake-ass nobody that nobody knew. I'm trying to make you know him, and I'm still teaching. Look, look, and he copied my sales pitch. I was going in the tech way all along. Look, say online. So we got an opportunity. They put the job in the palm of your hands. There's no excuses now. Everybody okay. in jobs. A um, billion people in this world right now going through this should be running to buy computers or start an online business because that's where it's at. And I've been saying that for years. And anybody that's that's that probably knows that, like, yo, you've been saying this. And look- But you know something? No matter what you do, it's going to be met with opposition. And I think that sometimes, like, the problem is, it's not that dudes don't know that they, they could do something different. It's just that sometimes dudes be scared to fail or they don't know what, what is going what success is going to look like for them. You know what I mean? They don't, it's not like a conscious decision. Like I was teaching everybody, bro. I've been doing that. And now he says the same thing. They put your dream job in the palm of your hand. Everything I say, these dudes copy. You ever seen him with sunglasses every time he's speaking to me? No, never. You've never seen him with sunglasses. Never, never. In none of those videos, you see me with the sunglasses, right? You see Poppy with the sunglasses, right? Now let's go to this cop.